Hello everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. If you are new to my channel, those that aren't will be sick of hearing me say this, but please do subscribe, it does help. Um, we're aiming for 40,000. <laughs> so today I'm coming to share how I have made, successfully made some shimmer sprays. Now, um, they're not glittery, they shimmer, so it's like a pearlescent. Um, and that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be really subtle. Um, so I'm not saying that they're going to be like, you know, any of the branded ones or anything like that, but you're going to get a nice effect. I just wanted something to just spritz here and there um, in my journals, on tags, things like that, to add a little bit of extra colour, a little bit of shimmer. Um, and so, yeah, so shimmer mists, I'm calling these. <laughs> Scrimpy shimmer mist. So what you're going to need, I've made, and the costing is very reasonable. I think to source the things, including, I got a pack of six bottles. I think they were about five pound. Were they just under? I can't remember. I don't think they were five pound. They might have been with the postage. And the so I got six bottles. They come with a little funnel and all the labels and everything. I bought some 70% 70 uh, 70 rubbing alcohol. This was just over £5. Just move that wire out of the way. And then I bought some mica powder. Now this is just pearlescent. It's not coloured. Um, so you just add it to any colour and you'll get the pearly colour. So um, the other th only other thing I might invest in is a gold one. Um, to make a gold spray, um, or add, you, then you can add that gold shimmer to any of your other sprays as well. So, and this was about five pound. So for fifteen pounds, um, if I was to buy a branded one, I'd probably get about two and a half sprays, bottles of spray for that amount of money. So far, I've made three. I've got three bottles left. I've got enough mica powder to make about a hundred million. And I've still got all of this. So the only other thing that I'm going to have to keep, uh, keep buying it more of, I'm going to need some more bottles. Um, but it's it's a huge, huge saving finance-wise. Okay. So the only other thing that you need, and I've, I will say I have watched loads and loads of videos on this. And I've watched what different people do and I've taken bits from one person and bits from another, tried them, tested them and uh, come up with this as the, as the end result. So what you're also going to need is something, a glue that says tack, tacky. Um, so you don't want like your beacon, uh, you want a, a tacky glue. So it's the, the better quality PVAs, isn't it? All right. So... What else do we need? And then obviously you're going to need something to make your colours. So I'm using, this is my little tray, okay. I'm using reinkers because I've got them left over from my stamping up days of loads of them. That's not a budget friendly way of doing it long term, but I've got them and they want using up so it doesn't matter. Uh, brushes brilliant because these go a long long way you've got the initial outlay but a lot of people have already got them and these go a long long way okay a very long way you only need a right little bit um you, 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 you're still gonna beat the price of branded ones whatever you use you can also use just crushed up eyeshadows so if you've got any old makeup lying about that you don't want you can use that um, you can use anything that's water-based. So um, if you've got, you know, watercolour um, painting tubes, you can use that. Um, you can use acrylic paint, but from the videos that I've watched, they will block up your nozzles easier. Okay, so we're not going to use acrylic paint, but you can. Alright, so I'm using, so I want to make a purple one, so I'm going to use a bit of a mixture of the Stampin' Up ink and the purple brushes. Alright, so I'm just going to put my mica powder to one side. So this, these are 100ml bottles, alright, and so we're going to fill just over, um, not quite half, 
just between a half and a quarter okay and I've got most of my measurements from watching Al John who's Amy over there in America but she does do it different she uses a liquid hairspray so one of the pump non aerosol hairsprays she buys one of those and pours the liquid in so I've bought this it's probably it'll be even cheaper than doing it this way but uh, hairspray in the UK is not cheap and then another way that some people have been doing it is adding the inside bits of Sharpies and well I'm sorry but Sharpies are expensive in the UK too far too expensive to be sticking in a bottle of spray so these are budget friendly you can use food colouring Amy uses food colouring right so let's get cracking anyway so I'm going to go uh, just below halfway with alcohol, rubbing alcohol uh, and what I'm going to do is I'll, 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 if I can think on I'll leave the links the Amazon links to these I'm not uh, you know getting out for, for doing it you know from Amazon uh, whatever they call it affiliate links or anything I'm just sharing where I've got the cheap stuff from so I'm using my little funnel go <laughs> watch me spill it everywhere okay so not quite half but more than a quarter if that makes sense okay and then when it comes to the cut that's not on straight when it comes to the color it's a little bit trial and error same with the mica powder because different people will tell you a different amount and scoop sizes and things and if you haven't got their scoops then it's, you're not going to have the same amount okay so it's what I've been doing is adding the colour, adding the mica, spraying it, see what happens. If I needed the colour deeper, I'll add a bit more. If I don't think it's shimmery enough, I'll add a bit more. So add small amounts at a time until you get it how you like it and then next time you do it, you'll remember and you'll do the same thing. Right, so what one tip that I am going to give you, which did come from Amy, I'm not going to take credit for it, glass beads. So not the plastic ones because they could uh, react with the alcohol glass ones and not ones with any paint on pure glass beads okay put them in the bottom of your bottle all right and what that's going to do is it's going to act like a ball bearing and it's going to help you mix get that mica because it does settle and it's going to help you get the mica from the bottom the other thing as well that I need to tell you and I've already done mine when you get the bottles you can see I've done mine already more often than not the pipe here this pipe reaches right to the bottom and even sometimes bends past the bottom I've cut all mine so I can't show you one what you want to do is cut you know and maybe half an inch off the bottom of the pipe so that it's not touching the bottom of the bottle otherwise you, your mica settles at the bottom and it's going to go up the pipe and that will clog all right so i've already cut some off of here and uh, i've cut it to an angle as well like when you're cutting flowers <laughs> oops so you nearly knocked that over then careful not to knock your stuff over and then a uh, re ink, I'm just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten. In fact, I'll do twelve, eleven, twelve, all right, thirteen. <laughs> I mean, I'd still get quite a lot out of there, but long term, I wouldn't be buying those to make my micas, but they're gonna uh, sprays, but they're gonna last ages anyway. So then, what you want to do is very carefully. I'm just gonna move that there. So this is a little. I think it's 15 grams. What it 15 grams or five grams? I don't know, but it's only a little pot. Okay, it's very much like the size of you know small embossing powders I don't know what they are, they're about 15 grams, I don't know I'm making it up, but they're small <laughs> just when you, if you're looking um, and you don't use the link that I use and you get coloured ones just make sure that you're getting pearlescent and not matte because there's different ones and you want to go for the ones um, cosmetic grade because they're nice and fine okay so what I'm going to do is I've got a heaped end of my spatula there okay and I'm going to put two of those in one I think Amy put more, way more in but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll put two in two heaped ones 
I can always add more if I don't think it's shimmery enough but I can't take it out uh, if I've got too much and if you've got too much your nozzle will may well block up right so then with the tacky glue this is what I'm doing it, it's supposed to help the mica stick to the paper whether that's true I don't know but I'm just putting my nozzle right in and I'm just going to do one two three four little drops okay now I just made that amount up myself because nobody's ever given an uh, exact measurement on any of their videos so I've tried it, I've sprayed it, I've figured it's enough to make the mica stick to the paper but not enough to be too sticky and gluey inside your bottle and it works, the, the mica doesn't uh, rub off Okay. So, and then what you want to do is, where's my little funnel? And I get my little funnel and I'm being so careful because, am I even in shot? <laughs> I don't even know if any of that were in shot. I'm just going to check. I checked back and I think most of it was in shot so I'll just uh, be mindful to move a bit further forward. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to fill it, it up but I'm not filling it right up to the top. Okay. With just plain tap water. Okay. Then put your lid on. Gosh. My hand-eye coordination shocking. I couldn't hit a bus with an elephant. And then tap, tap, tap. Look at that, can you see? Look at that, yummy. Ooh, pretty. So that looks nice and pearly. It's just whether it's gonna be a deep enough color for me. So when you're um, mixing them, either like that or tap, tap, tap. You've got your little beads in there to help disturb that mica. Okay, don't shake them up and down. Um, like from top to bottom otherwise you'll end up pushing the mica up there and getting in your nozzle blocked if it does get blocked up you should be able to give it a rinse out with hot water um, it should work it should un, un uh, it should unclog it but who knows we'll see so what I've got here is my my box and I've just lined it with some baking paper because I've been doing Distress Oxide spray there and if I start spraying on that it'll reactivate and we'll have a hot mess so I've just got I've got some spare paper hold on a minute I need some paper don't I okay so I've got some my paper in there now this might not be a deep enough colour what's that? I don't know Sometimes you need a, a few sprays to get it going. Ooh. Now, one thing that I do know is that it's very difficult to pick up on camera, the shimmer on that. Um, but it is, I don't know if you can, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. So the shimmer's there. I might put a tiny bit more, but the colour's far too subtle for me. So I want a bit more depth. So this is where my dude I what's it's gonna come in my oh yes I can see that shimmer Um, it's lovely as that so I just want a bit more depth of color in that it's not strong enough so I'm going to get my brushes okay and I've got a different spatula not the one with the resin powder on and I'm going to put a, mm, half of a tip end <laughs> That's quite flat, it's not mounted because this is quite uh, intense stuff. Tip that in, okay. That should deepen that colour for me. So just have a look what you've got. So long as it's water soluble, you'll be fine. Okay, and then that should give me a bit more of a deeper, a deeper colour. And this is what you do, you just keep, look at that. Ooh. You just keep adding the colour until you've got the depth that you want and the shimmer that you want. Just be careful you don't go adding too much mica powder. But if you get, this is a, 
ethically sourced natural shimmer it's it's cosmetic grade so it's super fine so it shouldn't and we've got them beads in there that's his magic weapon to stop it from clogging so let's have a look watch it clog now and i look all right nana no oh that's better that's a nicer color i might even go a little bit deeper than that but the shimmer oh yeah the shimmer on that is absolutely beautiful don't know if you can see it so that's how I do them I might just keep playing until I get a slightly deeper color with my purple so so far I've got purple blue yellow and uh, a nice green okay um so I don't know what other colors I might do an orange and what have I got I've got two bottles left I'm gonna have to get some more I might do an orange and a red and um, I do also want a pink desperately want it in fact I might make a pink one next so there you go I hope that helps Um, give it a go add some nice colors to your journal pages and your tags thanks for watching bye